analyst highlights three areas that Qualcomm should focus on to increase competitiveness and quickly generate cash flow. In light of recent reports in which Qualcomm made an acquisition offer to Intel as the latter's chip business continues to take a beating, a notable analyst has provided his take on the matter. In short, he believes that the San Diego chipset maker should focus on three areas, all of which are geared towards increasing competitiveness with other market players and bolstering its cash flow. The latest report downplays the possibility of Qualcomm acquiring Intel, saying that it would be too risky. The Snapdragon X Elite and Snapdragon X Plus highlight a major entry into the ARM-powered notebook space that is currently dominated by Apple's M series of chipsets. Qualcomm CEO has also said that next year, laptops featuring the aforementioned silicon will be available to purchase for as low as $700, indicating that the company is more serious about carving a place for itself in this category. As for smartphone chipsets, with the arrival of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, we should witness some heated competition. The only area where the firm appears to be lagging is in i server chips. NTF International Securities Analyst Ming Kai Kuo mentions in his latest Medium blog post that developing a robust on-device i ecosystem that includes smartphones, PCs, and servers should be its primary goal. Through other acquisitions and investments, Kuo believes that Qualcomm stands to improve its position in the i-server chip sector. To thrive in the upcoming i-era, Qualcomm's best strategy is to quickly generate cash flow from i-smartphone chips while expanding its dominance in this sector. The company should also push forward with IPC chips and build a robust on-device i-ecosystem spanning smartphones and PCs. Additionally, Qualcomm needs to swiftly bolster its server i-chip capabilities through strategic investments and acquisitions. The analyst points out Qualcomm has around $13 billion cash in hand and a market capitalization of $190 billion. Even if acquisition premiums, costs, debt assumptions, subsequent management, and expenses, and other metrics are ignored, Intel's current market capitalization of approximately $93 billion alone will put immense financial pressure on Qualcomm reducing profitability and adversely affecting net profit margins from the current 20% to single digits. Qualcomm's latest quarterly expenses touched $390 million, highlighting that its cash flow needs to be controlled too. Even if somehow an acquisition deal went through, it would be put on hold thanks to potential antitrust watchdogs, who have targeted the chipset manufacturer in the past. In short, Kuo is of the assumption that Qualcomm does not have sufficient motivation to acquire Intel, but it is possible that a deal is being explored cautiously due to external pressures that cannot be controlled by either entity.